almost an hour. You want to have a quick look at the ones I've got of Kowloon? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kowloon. This is its existing coastline. This is the original coastline. There is not one inch of the original coastline of Kowloon, which is the coastline today. Not an inch. Not an inch. The nearest place where there is original coastline is well on the other side of Joss House Bay. It was a, just a standard Chinese area. It had a major town here at Kowloon City. It had another market at San Shipo. It had a scatter of villages. Um, some of them very ancient, Nati Wai here and Mata Wai here date from the um, Lake Southern Sun. And most of the villages here dating from uh, the 17th century. These are quarry villages similar to the quarry villages on this side. This is a closer look at West Kowloon. Um, this is Kowloon City here. This is the original city here. These are the old footpaths leading down here to the, to the ferry pier. And then the other footpaths going up here to Sam Shippo and footpaths leading across. The only one that is close to a line of a modern road is this one where the Mata Way Road is very, very close to it, and this one, where Salisbury Road is runs very close to the existing line. The other ones, some parts of them survive. This is on the line of the present um, road, but most of them. There were political divisions. Of the, the villages divided into a number of um, This one was called the, um, the Nam Ho Hel. And this is the Buck Ho Hel. There was a river here dividing it. San Shippo Market was, in, was separate. This area was called the Sam Yak around Hong um, Kong. And then here you had the Lok Hel here. And then here with the Sasex Arm. A number of temples in Kowloon in 1863, 1863, the year the British took it over. There were quite a number of temples, only one of which survives, two of which survive on their original site. There's one here and one here, but all the others have gone. It had a significant um, industrial component, stone cutting in particular, on Daigok Jay and stone cutters, Jim Sajay, in and around um, Hong Kong. Ma Tao Chong and especially the Sei Sek San here. It's a very major stone cutting center. If you go to Jim Sajo today and look at the cliff at the junction of Salisbury Road, where and, and um, Salisbury Road and you know where the road turns sharply, you've got the cliff on the left. You can see the marks of the stone cutting on the rocks still. And there was boat building. Again, Jim Sajo, Yamade, Sam Shippo, Here's West Kowloon, not looking at all like it does today. There's the political divisions of it. Here's Jim Sajo. The main village was a village here called Jim Sawai, and there was a squatter area here that was called Jim Sajo, because this is Jim Sajo here, and this is where the ferry pier was, where the ferry went across to Hong Kong. So this squatter area. One of the reasons the British took Kowloon in 1860 was to get rid of the squatter area, because all the criminals lived there. Because they could take a boat across to Hong Kong Island, rob, and then take the boat back into Chinese territory, where they were safe from the Hong Kong police. And the Hong Kong government believed that most of the criminals in Hong Kong were going backwards and forwards across the harbour um, to rob and then go back home, including one American who was a pirate who had a house here in the squatter area for the same reason. So this squatter area grew up between 1840 and 1860, and the British were very, very eager to see it go. And this is Jim Sa Joy. The village is Jim Sa Wai. There was a small village up here, which is roughly on the, on the site of the junction of Nathan Road and Austin Road, where the police station is. It was called Jaw Pai. And this was upper uh, Jim Sa Wai. There were two villages. There were a couple of forts here, and there was a fort here, and there was a fort here. These were against the British built in the 1840s, um, and then not very much else. So 
Chimpanzee area doesn't anything like it does today at all. And there's only one surviving record of it, two, I suppose. This village here survived just long enough to influence the road layout of Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee is all east-west roads except for two, which are at an angle. Hart Avenue and Hart Avenue is one. And those are at an angle because they cover the site of the village. Because it survived just long enough that they couldn't put the roads through it until a little bit later than all the other roads were laid out. And then they built the road there. That's one of the remnants of pre-British Jim Sarge is the road layout there. The other is, if you look very hard and carefully, if you go into the market at the end of Canton Road and go to the very end of the market, you'll see a small shrine to the earth gods. It's a tole gong, tole, tole myo. That is the old earth god of Jim Sarge village. Nobody knows about it. It's well worth going to visit.